have you ever uh, wondered why certain areas experience repeated events while others remain unaffected hello everyone i hope you are doing well in this video we will learn how to perform hotspot analysis in arcgis pro and uh, the same steps can also be followed uh, in arcgis desktop Hotspot analysis is a powerful JS technique used to identify statistically significant clusters of high and low values in special data. In this tutorial, I use um, fire occurrence data from the state of uh, Arizona to identify uh, areas where fire incidents are consistently concentrated and areas with lower activity. So you can use uh, Hotspot analysis in studies like wildfire uh, disaster risk assessment, crime, traffic, accident analysis, uh, disease outbreak mapping, urban heat island, air pollution studies, so socioeconomic and um, population studies and more. It can be applied to point, line or polygon data whenever understanding spatial clustering is essential for planning and decision making. Um, if you want to show exactly where events are happening most often in your data and plan accordingly, uh, WhatsApp analysis makes it easy. So let's get started to this tutorial. First opening the software. And then uh, new project, click on map and uh, i'm going to give it a name region of fire and uh, then uh, location you can uh, save the project file in any location of your computer you prefer i'm leaving it as the default location then click ok and creating project opening new map first i will uh, add data go to map and then add data uh, I'm adding the data file, the fire data, and then uh, the shape file of uh, my area, the Arizona state. You can change the color. decreasing the size and then apply okay so here's the data of uh, uh, Arizona state and if I go to attribute table then you can see here latitude longitude and um, date and other And now I will check the uh, projection system and for that go to properties and then uh, go to source and uh, special reference and you can see the um, projection system is uh, WGS984 for my data so um, I have to convert it uh, to uh, projected coordinate system so for that go to toolbox and then uh, Mm, click on project first uh, I will project the fire points from uh, latitude to, uh, longitude to a projected coordinate system in meters this step is essential because uh, what spot analysis is distance based and geographic coordinates measured in degrees can distort distances and produce unreliable results so uh, we need to convert projection system from geographic to projected so input data set it will be uh, your uh, data origin of fire in my case which is in the uh, wg 84 system and then uh, output coordinate system just click here and go to projected coordinate system click here and in my case uh, i'm using utm and then 
from my location north america and then uh, this one nad 923 and under this i'm selecting uh, yes utm zone trip north then click ok you have to use uh, your coordinate system for your data for your location and then click ok and the project completed you can see the projection has been done to projected coordinate system and uh, then uh, i'm writing integrate and click here integrate i will use the integrate tool uh, with a uh, small x y tolerance to merge points um, that are extremely close to each other uh, this helps uh, reduce positional noise cost by uh, gps rounding and improves the accuracy of special neighborhood relationships uh, used in the worst pattern analysis so here in input feature uh, add uh, the origin of fire on the projected file and then go to environments and here uh, xy values xy tolerance i'm writing 30 and uh, unit meter xy tolerance 30 meters and parameters uh, that i have already added and then uh, click on run Yes, integrate uh, has been completed you can see over here um, aggregate fire events uh, for these uh, I will use the collect events tools to aggregate fire occurrences at the same or nearby locations this step uh, creates an event count field uh, which represents fire intensity um, get is or gi star works best with uh, event in intensity rather than just the presence of points so in uh, input incident features add your data and uh, then click on run so uh, collect events uh, completed you can see over here after running the tool uh, you can see that uh, some points are appear larger and others smaller uh, here the larger points represents uh, locations where many events occurred at the same place while smaller points uh, indicate fewer events um, this step is important because our spot analysis works better when repeated events are summarized correctly rather than uh, treating overlapping points as separate um, locations identify the optimal uh, spatial scale to determine the appropriate spatial scale for the analysis i will run incremental spatial autocorrelation using the event count field uh, this tool identifies the distance at which fire events uh, show the strongest spatial clustering helping avoid uh, arbitrary uh, distance selection so in uh, input feature add uh, your collect events output file and then input field uh, it will be i count and distance method euclidean and click on run incremental spatial auto correlation has been done and uh, now i'm writing what spot what spot analysis what spot analysis get is ordgi uh, now i will run the what spot analysis tool get is word uh, gi star compares local fire concentrations with the overall spatial pattern and identifies statistically significant word spots and cold spots rather than random clusters so in input feature class add uh, your collect events output and then input field add i count 
and then our put feature class um, distance distance method Euclidean and then uh, click on run so what's put analysis uh, has been done you can see here uh, cold spot with 99% confidence uh, cold spot with 95% confidence, uh, not significant, uh, word spot with 95% confidence. So the overall result here. And now um, I'm writing here IDW interpolates a uh, raster surface from points. You can see the hotspot analysis results are in uh, point form to better visualize the spatial pattern and uh, create a continuous surface. We can apply the inverse distance uh, weighted or IDW. I can say it, uh, which is interpolation method. So in IDW input point features, uh, it will be your word spot results, Z value field, uh, it will be GIZ score, and output cell size. Um, I'm giving it a uh, 30 meter resolution for my cell size and then go to environments and here um, you have to select your mask data from my uh, area uh, it arizona the boundary and then click on run it is in progress you can see idw completed Uh, IDW creates a smooth raster surface by estimating values of areas where no data points exist based on uh, nearby features. In simple terms, uh, nearby locations have uh, more influence than uh, distant ones. So, uh, in this tutorial, we covered uh, the complete workflow for hotspot analysis in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, starting from data preparation and uh, event collection to running the GTS or DGI statistic and visualizing the results uh, using IDW interpolation. Using fire occurrence data from Arizona State, uh, we identified statistically significant word spot and cold spot areas and transformed those results into an easy to understand raster map. Uh, this workflow can be applied to many types of special data that I have already mentioned at first. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you found this tutorial helpful, um, please uh, like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel for more JS and uh, remote sensing tutorials.